and we are live hello tribers please let me know in the comments if you can see me and if you can hear me let me just quickly check if we are live yes we are visible in the group superb so welcome to yet another interesting session on parent tribe by super bottoms today we have a very interesting topic for today's session and that is sibling rivalry i'm sure we have seen this happen around us many times some of us might have gone through this a few times and to shed some light on all the doubts we might have on this topic we have with us dr amit gupta welcome to the session doctor hi shweta so just to add on it's not couple of us i think it is almost all parents who face this issue of sibling rivalry and it is a normal thing each and everyone's house is having this thing right yes i agree to that so uh, let me please go ahead and quickly introduce dr amit gupta dr amit is a neonatologist and a pediatrician in motherhood noida he has an experience of 18 years in this field he has completed his education from kanpur and lucknow in the year 20 2001 to 2006 he further pursued a fellowship in newborn critical care from canada he is a member of indian academy of pediatrics and national neonatology forum He is currently heading the critical care department of pediatrics at Motherhood Noida, and is very passionate about child care development. So, doctor, it's so nice to have you all over again in our live session. Could you please uh, share your brief thoughts on sibling rivalry to start with? Uh, so, as I said, doctor Shweta, there is no parent in this world who has not gone through sibling rivalry. First of all, sibling rivalry is a normal thing to happen. almost all kids have a different temperament they are different they they need their own space they have a little bit of competition with each other which is okay and so sibling rivalry almost in every kids is fine but it become problematic when it is accompanied by fighting abusing each other or getting jealous of each other otherwise please sibling rivalry is normal i request my parents like after this in uh, maybe this facebook session please give a thought relax don't get stressed out when your kids fight a lot theek hai na go to your pediatrician take help if you want but calm down calm down calm down this is normal with every kids so don't worry about it okay uh, doctor what are some of the common triggers for sibling rivalry so we always have some favorism if you have like two kids i feel when the parents come to us saying that mera chhota beta is maths mein itna intelligent but bada beta is not intelligent see so we in the hindsight we have some kind of favorism for the kids and kids actually know that my mummy and papa in hindsight not saying but by their actions or by their deeds they are basically favoring someone or someone is doing want something from you and he is competing with him usko lagta hai mummy papa ko ye jyada ye jyada mummy papa isse pyar karte hain mummy papa tension ise dete hain baby ek naya ghar mein aaya hai which is just a like stressor it's like a happy thing to us but it could be one of a stressor to the new to the elder one so these types of stress at times can lead to sibling rivalry you know so this thing is normal you know don't worry about it much sibling rivalry is normal again quoting this thing right so how do we sort out the situation because the older kid is bound to get jealous at some point and then get aggressive or express it in various different ways so how does a parent deal with that situation dr shweta to every problem there is always an answer and to everything in in our life communication is the first and the foremost thing try to communicate with the elder child ask him in gently once he is not angry he is playing he is calm just try to ask him what is the problem what problem are you facing with the younger one he will open up maybe slowly and calmly he will just open up a saying like i have this problem with the younger one try to help him out to find the answer aap apne bhai se kyon chidte ho aap apne bhai se kyon maarte ho koi reason hai 
प्यार से बात करोगे बाहर घुमाते हुए पार्क में नॉट अराउंड हिम पूछोगे आई एम श्योर विद योर लव विद योर कंपैशन ही इज गोइंग टू कम अप एंड देन गिव हिम आस्क हिम द सॉल्यूशन उसी से ही पूछो क्या कोई क्या सॉल्यूशन हो सकता है इसका ही माइट कम अप विद सॉल्यूशन ऑफ हिज ओन वो खुद सॉल्यूशन निकाल कर हो सकता है देता है इफ ही इज नॉट एबल टू कम अप विद द सॉल्यूशन मे बी यू कैन कम अप विद द सॉल्यूशन दो बच्चे घर में लड़ रहे हैं टीवी एक है बोथ ऑफ देम आर फाइटिंग ठीक है ना यू कैन जस्ट आस्क देम टू कॉम डाउन गिव देम अ वर्ड गिव देम आस्क देम टू जस्ट रिलैक्स think about it whether you want to see the tv or you want to shut it off if you want to see the tv unko options do let them come to a conclusion and i'm sure by them coming with a conclusion and then you helping them out to sort out the issues will take you to long stride right okay and at what stage like how can parents distinguish between the normal level of sibling rivalry and at what stage does it get a problematic become a problematic behavior as i said dr shweta when the sibling rivalry is accompanied by fighting by name calling by using abusive words or the child because of sibling rivalry is getting diverted is not paying attention to what you are saying so he is ignoring you these are couple of signs when i say ki yes sibling rivalry is now too much you need intervention you need to intervene either you do or take help from the professionals right okay and uh, are there some ways in which parent can promote positive relationship between siblings yeah one of the very important thing ghar mein baith ke if you spend quality time with your kids spend as a team time team time matlab ghar mein baith ke suppose i give an example you play carrom theek hai na you play carrom where there are four sides you and your wife be on one side and your kids to be on other side so it actually promotes bonding un dono ka maqsad hoga aapko harana so it will promote team work they will turn out to have a great partnership unko partnership banana aayega unko khelna acha lagega aapke sath maybe sath mein rehke so one of the thing which you can do is always spend quality time with both of them or all of them then also they need an individual attention with you aap uske sath akele time bitaye uske sath khele so every child needs your individual attention as well as group time this groupism is actually very important you see tv together you do eat dinner together you laugh together you play together this is actually very important in promoting bonding and i think sibling rivalry to will be decreased after this okay right and uh, as you mentioned previously you know parents unknowingly tend to show some kind of favoritism so how can parents self regulate and not display that kind of uh, favoritism see it is somewhere hidden in ourselves we try to do it so so there are some couple of things which is which has to be done which is bound suppose a newborn comes up then a parent has to give attention so this is something which one have to do but at the same time you can involve i'm just giving an example for newborn a newborn coming into the into the life of the parents is a joyous moment for us but it might be a, a source of rivalry for the elder one in this case you are bound to give a little favorism to the younger one but at the same time make the elder explain why you are doing it you can involve in the day to day care activities of a newborn the elder one so elder one becomes a little bit boss you tell him that which clothes you should give him aaj kaun sa diaper pehnana hai aaj usko kaun se kapde pehnane in a way he will get involved in it so somehow we are doing it when someone needs it someone some one baby is sick one child is sick when the other is not sick in that case favorism is allowed but if you are not both are okay then please if you're doing favoritism it's somehow in the uh, mind of the other child is going to create that my mummy papa are trying to do it so try to avoid it as much as possible okay uh, are there any long term side effects of unresolved sibling rivalry yeah a bonding between parents is bonding between the kids are not that promising when there is sibling rivalry then the kids who is like being ignored he can go to have more of screen time he can gradually when become adult he could have some mental issues like he could have behavioral problems then further going up they can have a little bit like they can go on to drugs or other stuff so remember this is cause 
always normal sibling rivalry you as a parent have to calm down you have to come down with the solution along with all negative effects are there if in it's like you are not able to cope it up make sure in that case please take professional help so that things can be sorted out sibling rivalry once identified needs to be cured when it is pathological for physiological sibling rivalry don't worry about it okay and we often see older kids getting a little bit more aggressive and we have seen uh, older kids older as in the older siblings display aggressive behavior outside the house as well so which is triggered by sibling rivalry i, I just wanted to understand like does aggressive many, behavior dr shweta there are many reasons to an an elder child being um, aggressive one of the reason you said is the sibling rivalry you know but the other reasons are maybe the home environment is not conducive we ourselves have to be role model for our kids if we me and my wife is fighting we are trying to resolve our issues by fighting with each other or using abusive words so actually kids pick these types of uh, behavior they see ourselves as their role model so say pata hai ki now mummy papa is solving issues by fighting so maybe he tend to take these things and maybe bahar ja kar he is taking using these types of behavior more third thing i always say a child who is more into the i uh, like media more into the screen time they have been it has been shown more screen time is one of the reason for child having aggressive behavior so try to see what is the cause maybe you are the cause or the screen time is the cause or maybe the environment is the cause so these are the couple of reasons for a child being aggressive okay and are there any specific communication techniques that we could use with children who are very adamant and are not really very Uh, receptive towards normal dialogue while dealing with certain situations so again things what works is your temperament so when both your child is getting angry he is very angry you are also getting angry this is not going to work okay you have to step down you have to step back you have to learn calming exercises maybe you can take a deep breath or maybe just avoid the situation for a bit once you your son or you have become cool down sit down with him point it out what was wrong ask him what made you furious maybe he will come up with some solution to it he will say no this made me furious but why it made you furious for the same usse point usse poocho kyun usse gussa aaya kyun kaise gussa aaya us cheez ko avoid karne ke liye kya kiya ja sakta hai wo khud hi solution mein aayega so your gradual talking your bonding with your child your one is to one communication will help you to sort out the issues silently right okay uh, we have a viewers question disha is asking how can i prepare my child before the arrival of a second one so as to avoid sibling rivalry from the start so first of all please please start reading good box good good books good uh, blogs which are available on the internet there are tremendous knowledge available on internet take this read it second thing involve your child in a way ki when you are going for an ultrasound take it to the, take your child along with it take here take him let him feel the baby once the child is inside the tummy make him feel importance make him feel importance ki yes this child is coming this will be helpful for you ye aapke sath khelega aapki baatein manega aapke sath ghumne uh, jayega you talk positive about the new one which is coming at the same time please pay attention to the elder ones also uske sath sari baatein karte raho khelte raho use samjhate raho so i'm gradually by the time your wife is ready i'm sure you can make a background or a playground for your child in which he is ready to play with the younger one it's where he is not competing he is just mentally prepared for the younger one right uh, and as you previously mentioned even parents need to model certain kind of a behavior so that the kids yeah. pick up on that and sort of follow the suit but uh, apart from showing irritable behavior or uh, sorting out conflicts in a calm manner are there any other behaviors that kids pick up on and uh, model themselves after Yeah, there are many. You are more on your laptop or mobile. You are more on screen time. Kids see my parents and mummies are more on screen time. They tend to be more on screen time. When you see there, you are you are not kind to others. You are not being empathetic to others. You know these type of things. So these are small small things which they pick up from us. 
they see my papa is coming from office and every time he's on mobile he is saying ki you are not paying attention to your servant servant needs help at times you are not empathetic to, to them so you are not kind enough to them maybe these small small things kids pick up and they learn from us so somehow if you want your kid to be a good human being if you want to inoculate good habits to him you have to inoculate those good habits in yourself be a role model for your kids uh, i'm sure this will be a long way to go then right okay uh my neighbors say to my daughter mummy will play with you only when you are only child when a sister or brother comes she won't like you how to tell my girl this will not be the scenario uh i'm sorry i'm not able to understand this question so could you actually she actually means to say probably that a female child is there so if a male will come then only she will like you i uh, probably the female is there so she won't like you maybe i am not wrong so this is a common scenario where a child being ignored by a female child is being ignored by papa and dadi and they are tending they actually want a male child but mother plays an important role she is neglected out but she can actually make the child understand that being a female child is not a problem you know she can tell her some stories of good females good like rani lakshmi bai or some other people who have played an important role maybe our young leaders young old leaders like indira gandhi they can just quote those examples so i think this lady is talking about this so don't get frustrated by the comments which your neighbors or elders are trying to make take this as a positive try to come close to your kid explain her everything in details and i'm sure this will be sorted out okay mera bada bata mere chote bete se toy share nahi karta then what to do in that situation always fighting happens for a single particular toy or a thing Ah, the common scenario. Every household is having a, this scenario, ma'am. Don't worry about it, na. But toy is one of those things. So one thing which I always feel, same toys dono ke liye la sakte ho, ठीक है ना? Or if they want, before you go and out and buying a toy, you should let your younger one knows कि आपको क्या चाहिए. Elder one से पूछ लो आपको क्या चाहिए. But लेने से पहले please make sure. you ask them you make a deal with them ki there will be sharing without any doubt theek hai na ek ek dusre se puchega but lene se pehle make it a family rule if the younger one is asking toy he has to ask for it pehle elder se puchega tab lega aisa nahi ki elder rak gaya usse chup chap le le so this is one of the thing commonly cheez ek bacche ko पापा ने पेन ला के दिया पापा ने पेन ला के दिया बड़े वाले ने रखा छोटे वाले ने चुपके से पार किया और उसे ड्राइंग कर रहा है एल्डर वन गेटिंग फ्रस्ट्रेटेड दैट दिस यंगर वन इज यूजिंग माय पेन सो आई ऑलवेज मेक इट अ होम रूल मेक इट अ रूल इन द होम कि वन हैज टू टेक अदर थिंग्स ओनली बाय आस्किंग एल्डर्स को थोड़ा साथ में बैठा उसे प्यार से समझाओ कि अभी छोटा है देयर इज अदर रिस्पांसिबिलिटीज फॉर व्हिच यू आर रिस्पांसिबल आप बड़े हो थोड़ा समझाओगे थोड़ा बातें करोगे थोड़े ग्राउंड रूल्स फैमिली रूल्स बनाओगे आई थिंक दिस कैन बी सॉर्टेड आउट इजीली ओके सो यस विद दैट वी आर एट द एंड ऑफ द व्यूअर्स क्वेश्चंस एज़ वेल डॉक्टर एनीथिंग दैट वी हैव मिस्ड आउट ऑन सो फार नो आई थिंक मोस्ट ऑफ द पॉइंट्स वी हैव कवर्ड डॉक्टर श्वेता ओके सो व्यूअर्स इफ यू हैव एनी मोर क्वेरीज प्लीज ड्रॉप देम इन द कमेंट्स एंड विद दैट वी आर एट द एंड ऑफ टुडेस um uh, informative live session i'm sure all of us have a lot of takeaways from this session because this is something that so many parents have to deal with on a daily basis multiple number of times just in a day as well and it could be a major source of frustration for some parents who are unable to manage it at times so thank you so much doctor for sharing all this information with us and i hope thank to have you have soon again for the next session thank you very much doctor shweta Thank you tribers for tuning in. Stay tuned for more interesting sessions just on Parent Tribe by Superbottoms. Thank you so much. Take care.